Hello everyone, it's Warnog Gamer 4 back here again with another co-op challenge run video. For this one, we're going around using gravity spells as our main source of damage. Also, these spells do physical damage rather than magic damage. Also, this was a recommended run from a comment on one of my previous videos, so thank you for recommending me this. So to start, we make our characters as fat as we can make them. My character's name is the Absolute Unit. My friend Hector here is Fatty Patty. Who joined me? Looked like the Wendy's girl. And my other friend Pedersen is Bob. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? From Tekken Yo, 6. Dude, is that from Tekken? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the name Bob and I was like, no, it can't be. And then I see that fucking face. <laughs> I wonder it looked somewhat familiar. Yeah, dude. He's making an appearance in Elden Ring for the very first time. <laughs> We're all fat. Yeah, bro. With the introductions out of the way, we begin our quest to become the Elden Lord. Starting off, we punch Vare in the face for some good luck. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Analyze our character models for a bit. Explain to me why your underwear is skimpier than mine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. It's because, like, for the girls, bro, they just knew they had to cover more, you know? Like... No one's, no one's gonna give a shit about the dudes. You've got so much more cheek showing. And it's, like, divoted into your ass. Like, Ew, are you wrinkly, George? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you both said the same thing. They're both staring his wrinkly ass back. Oh. <laughs> Get stuck while waiting for Melina to appear. Yeah, just skip the cutscene. There's no cutscene for me to skip! Yeah, dude. And go around and get essentials for the run. Oh. oh my god, bro! Why are you trying to activate them? Knowing that we're gonna follow you, you fucking guess? No, that wasn't by accident. I didn't even know they were there. As you walk in front of all the enemies. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Get the meteorite staff that provides bonus damage to gravity spells. I can't get it. Explain to me how they attacked me through a building. Also in the area, get our first gravity spell. Get screamed to death by a flying Karen. Jump out. Witness the flawless escape of my friends from the fort. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was poisoned. Now we farm for a bit. Getting shit. So glitchy it hurts. Oh. Thank God it's you who has to see it. The worst part is I'm not getting any runes from this. How many runes do you have? Only, only 1900. I got 2,000. There you go, you're catching up. I'm catching up just because it killed a deer. We level up so we can use the spell and the staff that we just got. Now we head over to the giant shallow lake called Lyurnia. Oh my god. All I want to do is get the fucking map. That's all I wanted to do too. Interact with Boyo the Prawn Guy for later. Make our way through Altus Plateau to get more Golden Seeds, Sacred Tears, and Graces for later. I'm ready to hear- Oh! And then watch Patterson's life go down. Coming up in fucking shit. <laughs> Azrath, Metreon, Zintos! Did those rocks come from underneath you? Do it again. I'm pulling them from below the cliff. That's what it looks like. The hell? Is this guy. What the fuck? What the fuck? I was like, what the fuck is George doing? He's like glowing light and shit. Do some weird pose. World rule changed. Wanderers are now peaceful. I had to do it. You're such a piece of shit. I noticed that shit and I was like, nah. 
get attacked by giant hands at the Carrion Manor. So <laughs> Yeah, what's with, what's with there. that guy? Moving forward, we get annihilated by Loretta. Oh, that's it. Afterwards, we annihilate Loretta. Oh, fuck. He missed. Take that, Royal Knight Loretta. Bully the Onyx Lord in the jail so he can give us his meteorite spell. With two gravity spells obtained, we go and fight Margit after a Jennifer Coolidge impression. How tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. And after hearing a bunch of gibberish from my friends. I got bitch. Reaction. I do not understand anything you said, Betty. Azuratha Metriona Zintaros. No touch the Oh! Reaction. He pierced me with his sword! This ain't my first rodeo with you, bitch. But if it wasn't <laughs> for stopping him, it was about to be at last! Nah, I dodged it. <laughs> we take down Margit pretty easily, with the fight only taking about 1 minute and 10 seconds. Margit the Fell is about to go to Margit the Hell. I'm gonna eat. It's very stressful. Now we make our way through Stormvale Castle. <gasps> no! I made it, somehow. What are you doing, George? I don't, I don't know how I... Okay. I can only get lucky once. Oh? No! Alright, which way am I going? Which way oh, am I going? I'm fucking fire. <laughs> and now it's time to fight Godric. And after making Godric's AI continuously dodge for the first phase... We make easy work of him in the second phase. Oh fuck. Godric goes down and the fight took about 1 minute and 53 seconds. With Godric defeated, we now make our way through Magic Spam Central, dealing with the two turrets in the front entrance. He's in the way. <laughs> oh my god. What an asshole. Alright, you wanna fucking play? He's really- he's still standing there. Don't turn- tell me some that- Dude, he won't get out of the way. Are you gonna fucking touch the Grace George? I'll touch it. Oh shit, okay. Oh, I'm dead actually. Alright, I made it. <gasps> Mass times acceleration equals force! Eliminate the gravity guy along the way to get the gravity well spell. Take care of Radagon's pet wolf with the force of gravity. He's down! Kill the wolf! Jesus Christ on a cross. Don't... Uh, uh, uh. Moving forward, we harass the elevator guard for getting in our way by throwing him around the air arena. With the guard down, we now go off and fight Renala. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, his back doesn't look that bad here. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it's because we're in the door. Can't, can't wait, wait why do you look younger? Ew, did she bite your toe? She's like, foot fetish? <laughs> Looks like you got webbed feet. Ew, dude, you're veiny. <laughs> Actually, fighting Renala wasn't that difficult, except for the fact that her first phase was a big FP waste. That was fast. That was really fast. For the second phase, it was looking like a walk in the park until disaster just kept on striking us. God! What? Did you not see them come to you? Bro, she wasn't looking at me when she casted it. I didn't think it was gonna go towards me. Bro, you know the game does not care. Ow. Fuck her up, fuck her up. <gasps> I don't have enough FP to fucking be hitting this guy. Now it, now it left. Oh. 
I'm dead. You better start using star shards. Oh, of course. Oh. Come on, Rickly old bitch. It had to be the swarm giant. Eventually, with a spare starlight shard in my inventory, Renala goes down with the fight taking about 6 minutes and 12 seconds. Bruh. She not dying? <laughs> no. She dodged it. She's gonna, she's gonna cast the moon now and like stop you. With Renala defeated, we now go and get talismans that we forgot to get, such as the Graven School talisman for bonus spell damage, and the Radagon's Icon talisman for faster casting speed. Now we fight the demi-human queen with her magical reappearing throwing stick. Mass times acceleration equals force! Newton's second law! Why me? Oh, it's the light. That'd be well. To get the ritual sword talisman for bonus damage at full health. Now we make our way to the top of Mount Gilmer. And George, you got some fucking cake! <laughs> yeah, I do, dude. That should be jiggling, that should be wiggling! Mm. Oh, Tyson, sl slow down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's the fucking angle. Oh! <laughs> Careful now. You don't want my head to slip in there. Get attacked by Zahando. Zahando. No! Oh, my God. Zahando. Oh, you piece of shit! There was no mercy. <laughs> Right there to the fucking grace, too. Fight the very buggy tree spirit snake. I don't believe in you! Well, apparently it's working. Yeah. He's like, Faith, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? <laughs> I just made it up, dude. Yeah, but I feel like it does. Oh, careful, stay away from oh, me. Jesus! I can't lock onto him anymore. Yeah, I can't lock onto him either. Oh, I can. It's all up to you now. Complete the mission. I mean, if you distracted him, I could. Bro. Okay, enough with this teleporting bullshit. I can't... Uh... Die! Ew, look at... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, you just got... Eat. <laughs> oh, that just deleted me, great. To get the Cerulean Hidden Tier for unlimited FP for a short while. Now we head on over to Volcano Manor. Oh, not the hair! Make our way through Prison Town. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Get it! Get it! Ah! No! That is please! No! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> and after raising the bridge shortcut, we try our luck against Radon. Radon. We meet again. Little do you know. I have Newton on my side. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck about your Newton! And unfortunately, it does not turn out well. I mean, just look at the results. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> My rocks! Attack! They're all missing! <laughs> Ow! No! Of course. Wow! Ah! Yeah, the first attempt ended in a flop. I'm distracted with the meteorites! Don't stop, boys! Oh no! Oh, that actually killed me. I've got just enough health. Bruh. So it's time for round two. But before that, a bit of shenanigans occur. Now it's all up to me. Somehow he sees me! I don't know how! Run away, run away, run away! Keep on crouching, running away!
Oh. <laughs> He's attacking me. Alright, I think he de -aggroed. Is he walking toward me? He's walking towards you, I think. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh. Are you guys just gonna stand there? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, he's going back. How did he. Bro. Please explain to me how he knew that I was there. You saw where I was. Bro, he took a step and he looked at that. Like, you saw where I was. <laughs> I was not quote unquote in front of him. He noticed you and he's like, oh shit, is that Bob from Tekken? He just went right <laughs> over to you. He's like, dude, I play you all the time. Okay, he's back. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are just watching this. Did I see no more boss? <laughs> boss bar. <laughs> now they're going for you, Fenderson. Oh. He was. Okay. Uh. He's walking away. J -j just look at this. Video evidence I'm not in front of him. <laughs> the viewers are looking, okay? They see. Unless you conveniently edit it out. <laughs> I love how much fear he has. Alright. I'm ready. Alright, so this is what's gonna happen. Both of you start pelting him with meteors, and I'm gonna go to the front of him and start pelting him with meteors so that he kinda like gets stuck between us. Alright, give me one second before we start. Perfect. Oh my god. Just as planned, perfect. <laughs> Everything was coming along together. <laughs> Dude, I literally heard Hector be like, oh my god. And I'm like, what? No reply, IDC. For the second attempt, we pretty much just stun lock him until he dies. Three, two, one, go. It was a quick encounter, with the fights only taking about 57 seconds, and we had to retry one time. Now we make our way through the capital. Which, that was like my entrance to the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, instead of going through birth, I just fucking spawn- Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just spawned through the sky. <laughs> Gracefully, like a fucking swan. Start a talk that will eventually lead into a shocking revelation for my friend. We're gonna fight, what's his fucking face? Small guy McGee, yeah. The fucking... Witch fetish dude? The one who wants to stick with fucking Ronnie in a jar and jizz in it? Oh, Mog? Wait, no, who? who? No, no one has a fucking witch fetish shit. Yeah, dude. Fucking Bro, I don't know what type of fanfiction you've been reading. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> He's the one that asks us if we've ever stuck Ronnie as a doll in the jar to put her and put our seed in it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> George has to know what I'm talking no, about. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, what? Oh, Inside because there's shit chasing us. Fight Phantom Godfrey oh real God. quick. Bro, he fucking literally just cut my hair. Ow. Oh shit. What's your issue, dude? Missed. That short fight took about 2 minutes and 18 seconds. How do you not know what I'm talking about, George? 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why are you still on this fucking topic, dude? Like, <laughs> you, I've literally shown it to you. No, dude, I don't. The dude, the, the dude in the fucking in the fucking table, the table of grace or whatever, the round table. In there, the fucking knight, the one in the fucking oh, office. Fucking Gideon. Yeah. Come on, dude. Gideon has literally tells your character. If we fucking ever thought of putting Ronnie as a doll into a jar and injecting our seed into it. No. <laughs> dude, do I really have to like link you the clip? Do I really I know I know what you're talking about. That shit is just a meme clip. No, dude, he actually says that. No, he doesn't actually say that, dude. <laughs> dude. No, dude. Bro, do you know what they're referencing in that fucking meme, dude? The fucking My Little Pony cum jar. It's not real. Well, I mean, the cum jar of the pony is. But the whole, like... That whole shtick is... That whole shtick is not real. Well, it's not. <laughs> no, dude. I don't know what you're convinced it is. <laughs> Bro. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, dude. Yes! Why do you think George and I are confused as fuck? <laughs> there is no way. It sounds like him. I thought it was legit. No, off we go to the high road cave. cave. This cave is annoying as hell. Make our way through the water. There's a jump over here. Careful. We should be able to just jump up. Bruh. Demolish the Guardian Golem with ease. In order to get the blue dancer's charm for bonus physical damage if our equip load is low. Between leveling up and getting the talisman, we try our luck against Radon again. Honestly, Radon is not a hard fight if you have ranged options to do damage. But the main problem for us, and what caused most of our deaths, is the fact that our lock-on to the boss would just break in the middle of the fight against him. Forcing us to get closer to him if we wanted to do damage. Because free aiming the rock sling is not much of a viable strategy. Up here, damn horse! Why am I locking onto my own horse? It was the no, I'm locking onto Hector. I'm locking onto Hector as well. The traitor. This is a problem. Guess whose lock is broken? <laughs> My lock is broken too. Yeah, mine is as well. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, Fuck shit, you. He's doing that one. I always fuck up this one. Oh! Oh my god. Again? Bro. I don't know how that missed. Alright. He's gonna die here. He's gonna die here. But eventually we take him down with the fight taking about 4 minutes die. and 43 seconds. And we had to retry seven times. Level up. Go into the War Dead Catacombs. To get the Collapsing Star spell inside of the Dark Souls chest. We're in a run! Now we head into Necron. Oh, that was close. Oh my god. You're trying to set me up for failure. Set no one up. Fight the Mimic real quick. Oh god, it's hideous! Kill it! Bully her! Mimic only lasted about 1 minute and 24 seconds. Going into the next area, we fight the Regal Ancestor Spirit, who would not stop harassing Fatty Patty. So tired of you. 
Why me? Yeah, that's right, bitch. The fight took only about one minute and 47 seconds. Now we join Ronnie, get into an air fist fight with my friend Hector over here. Bitch! <laughs> what, dude? You see At your friend? At first I was afraid, I was petrified, to think that I could ever live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong, and I grew strong, <laughs> and I learned how to get along, and so... Wait. <laughs> wow. And so I'm oh my back God. from outer space. Obtain the Finger Slayer Blade in order to get the Carrion Inverted Statue. Now we make our way through the Frenzy Tower area. Oh, the madness. Oh. In order to upgrade our Flask's potency after dealing with Vite. Ooh, Saleta. Now we head towards Rena's Rise in order to use the teleporter there so we can reach the river main and after contemplating whether or not to put Ronnie in a jar we push forward avoiding rolling balls that come in our path hey Bob, I see you <laughs> Oh! Dude, it barely touched you deal with the Baleful Shadow with an army of rocks. But before we fight Estelle, we go to the Carrion Inverted Tower and get handed my death. Make the NPC stationed here fall to his death. <laughs> or you fuck! I didn't think that could fucking work! That's why I didn't try it! Just so we can fight the Godskin Fatty, and once we obtain the armor, we can now truly be a center of gravity. <laughs> you have to join the club. I hate how my fucking cape is made out of his breasts and belly button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. And now we can go and fight Estelle. With Estelle being a gravity type enemy, he takes extra damage from gravity sorceries. But unfortunately, that doesn't stop us from screwing up in the fight. Oh my god, okay. Get away from him! Okay, good shit. And after Bob got nuked to death... Get away from him! Well, it was the end for Bob. I sacrificed myself... ...to do as much damage as I can. And Fatty Patty got grabbed. Oh, he grabby, he grabby! Ooh! Do A you and spat you out like Wendy's. All that is left now is me. <laughs> Why'd you have to go into such detail? <laughs> it wasn't just like a quick, you know, f bite and dead. Bro fucking nom to my fucking face. My fucking legs are in the air, pussy exposed. And I was fucking vulnerable. So I vulnerable. <laughs> and after some good rock slings to the face, Estelle goes down with the fight taking about 4 minutes and 38 seconds. Good shit, George. She need like one more shot. With Estelle defeated, we now go and fight Morgoth. For Morgoth, we take advantage that he focused on just one of us for most of the fight. It's getting pelted by everybody around him, but I'm the enemy here. So the transition into phase 2 gave us a good opportunity to pelt him with meteorites. It doesn't seem like he's having a good time. Mm, there's pool water everywhere. Oh, okay. 
Why? No. Oh my it's god, it. dude. It's time for someone else other than me to suffer. He really likes you, Patty. Well, I'm not a fan of him. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What is... <laughs> At least I'm catching this. But after enough gravity rocks to the face, Morgoth goes down with the fight taking about 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Now we level up. Make our way towards the mountaintop of the giant. Yeah, but this shit's too much exercise for my character. What are you talking about, dude? We're bulking. Get a somber seven smithing stone. Deal with Okina and his rivers of blood. Haha, -ha, a giant hand squish bird. Ew, look at the fucking hands up there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you wanna fight it? No. no. Okay. <laughs> oh, you said it at the same time. Well, that shit's huge and it's got like 20 fingers. It's gonna fucking use all of my holes at the same time. Now we make our way to Castle Soul to duplicate a remembrance I accidentally popped. Take down Dragon Grail with the power of just loading into the area. Oh, yep. Ask him now shall receive. Oh. Get Somberstone 8 and 9 near the Dragon Barrel West Grace. Go into the abandoned cave to get the gold scarab for bonus runes. And with all that done, it's time to get the Carrion Regal Scepter. After upgrading it to plus 9, and offhanding our previous staff for bonus damage, we do quite a bit more damage compared to what we used to. Now only real life events can stop us in our track. Oh shit. Did he, <laughs> did he kill you? Yeah, he killed me because my controller disconnected. <laughs> After making our way through Castle Soul, we fight Commander Nile, whose spirit summons were easy to take down this time, but we still have to be careful because he hits like a truck. Oh my god. Drank. The fight took about 2 minutes and 39 seconds. With Commander Nile defeated, I go and get a few more boiled prawns to have in reserve. We get the other half of the secret medallion. Make our way through the consecrated snowfield. Oh shit, don't be careful. Yeah, yeah, you do the every run. Yeah, for real. We learned the first time. It's always in the same place, too. Whoa, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminate the invader at the round table. Oh, Jesus! Great enemy felt. Great enemy felt. Legend felt. What the fuck happened? I'm in fucking... Renala's place! Legend felled! Great enemy felled! What is going on?! And I'm disappearing again! Okay, I'm fucking... <laughs> Go and get the fanged imp ashes real quick. In order to solve a puzzle of the rise in the snow field. So we can get the Graven Mass Talisman, which gives us a greater sorcery bonus damage. Now we head over to the Yellow Annex Tunnel, 
bully the onyx enemies that get in our way. So we can fight the Star of Darkness Estel, as he has the last gravity spell in the game for us. And this boss is quite dangerous as it has the possibility of one-shotting us. Ooh, I was oh, okay. far away enough it didn't catch me. Did that kill you? It, yep, it killed me. Ooh. Did that kill you? Instantly! But eventually the steroided Astel goes down and we gain access to his meteorite attack. He didn't even get to do his super grab. Fuck that guy, bruh. And with the final gravity spell in our arsenal, we now make our way to the liturgical town to light up some candles. That nearly killed me. Alright, I got so late. one of them. I'm dead. Uh. Uh. Motherfucker. What you gonna do, bro? Hmm? Oh. Thanks for the warning shot. No! Come on! Not quite! <laughs> oh, come on! With the candles lit up, we now make our way down the Halleck tree. There we go. The sail was broken! I, I got s- <laughs> Bro, I just had a tango with a fucking death knight about to stab me right through the fucking trachea. No! Why? Now I'm Scarlet Rodder- Okay, well. Life's great. Let me just fucking dance in the flowers of death. I don't need bubbles attacking me while I'm doing it. I have enough fucking stress as it is without you guys adding on to it. Hector, over here, behind you. I'm getting swang at! You guys are just watching! I'm gonna fucking risk my life. Oh! My god! I landed <laughs> in a pile of ant piss! <laughs> happens to the best of us. That yeah, happened to the best of you. And now it's time to fight Loretta, who we couldn't burst down at the start of the fight. But she fortunately wasn't that hard to beat with all the rocks being thrown at her. Why is he still coming for me? Why? You wanna fucking push him closer to the meteors? That'd be nice. Oh. <laughs> Let's try this again. That fight took only about 1 minute and 43 seconds. On the way down to Melania, we get the somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Make our way down towards the roots of the tree. And that was well deserved. Give me three reasons why it was well deserved. Like, I mean, I'm even gonna get, I'm, I'm making it easy for you and giving you three. I, I only need one, and that's because you questioned me. Sorry, I forgot I was dealing with Sir Isaac Newton over here. Yeah, that's right. Lord of the fucking cock. It's, uh, Lord of Motion. Thank you. Deal with some over-aggressive enemies. Wow. Those things are too bloody aggressive. And now we try our luck against Melania. Alright, dodge. <laughs> Guess who didn't dodge? 
Gorge, can you do me a favor and like sip? Stop saying dodge the moment she's already working her way towards us. You had all time to dodge there, and you knew exactly what was gonna happen at the beginning. No, dude, I haven't. I'm not the one who's done this fight five thousand fucking times. Oh my God, dude, this is the only boss that does this. Okay. This is like the fucking fourth time I've ever fought her. Yeah. Fuck. That does so much damage. But that didn't go so well, so instead we go and get the purifying crystal tier. And start making our way to Mog's palace. So we can fight Mog in his palace of blood. Get the Halic Drake Talisman plus two for holy resistance. The first phase was pretty easy as he just decided to focus on me. For the lead up to the second phase, we unleash Meteorite Hell towards him. Alright, drink. Oh my god. And with his health bar pretty much gone, he goes down with a couple more rock blasts to his back. That fight took about 1 minute and 52 seconds. Bro. What the fuck is going on? Bro. The meteors are still falling. Oh my god. I can't hear shit, dude. Sit on it. Maybe the meteors go away. They don't. And we retried one time. What is his problem with me? My god! He only fucking looked at one of you for half a fucking second, I could have lived! With Mog defeated, we go and fight the Gunskin at the Volcano Manor. You know, for a man his size, he's quite agile. So we can get the grace that leads to right card to challenge him later. For now, we head over to the mountaintop of the Giants, and one of us ran into a bit of a problem. Where are you, Pettis? Bro, I fucking ended the game, I accidentally started it from Steam, I, then I fucking exited it out. It takes like a year <clears throat> for it to say play or for it to fully stop on Steam for some odd reason. So I'm there waiting for it to stop and then it still says stop on it. So I decide to click stop, but it fooled me and it actually said play, but somehow <laughs> it was not displayed and stop was displayed and I started it again. So I had to end it again. And then now I'm opening up the mod. What a journey. And now it's time to fight Fire Giant. Fire Giant's first phase was pretty easy as our attack animation doesn't take a year to finish when we started, allowing us to avoid his attacks with ease. For the second phase, Fire Giant just decides to slam his face into the floor, and we send out Meteorite, which I pretty much missed the entire volley of. Afterwards, he was pretty easy pickings, except when he was very roll happy. He got real comfortable with his asshole just now. Dude, how annoying! Stand fucking still. The fight against Fire Giant took about 5 minutes and 19 seconds. Now we make our way through Farah Mazula. in order to fight the Godskin duo. I was gonna say we gotta focus on one first. For this battle, we mostly focused on one of the pair. 
Yeah, I'm distracting Fatty over here. And once one of them was gone, we then help out whoever was distracting the second godskin. He's gonna burst! Good shit! We show godskin fatty over here that his yeah. inflated health means nothing to us. Whatever godskins that spawned afterwards were pretty easy to take down. An entire fight took about 2 minutes and 17 seconds to finish. Don't stop it, boys! We are gods! Told you we hit you no dance. Oh my god, please sit on it. Why? They're not here. I can't. No, 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 no. I see them destroying. I can't teleport! <laughs> it's so fucking loud! Alright, everyone die. Just get out of the area, just get out of the area. Well, I went to die because I can't teleport. <sighs> Is there peace amongst the lands again for you, Pedersen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we make our way to the Grace beside the Great Bridge. Also running I into the up. usual trouble <laughs> along Goodbye, the way. Goodbye, guys. Oh, again. Again? <laughs> Ooh, okay, oh. that was... Damn, he fucking gut punched your ass! He's using Newton's second law, dude. For every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. Exactly. Get up! <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit! Did you get the seed, Hector? Yeah. And I got bullied to death by Vern. Avenge me by getting the grace. The fuck? Guys? Yeah. Did you, like, were you trying to kill that? <laughs> no, we don't see anything. Where the fuck is the fire coming from? There's a the fucking order. dragon! Oh. I oh, see that? trees falling. Yeah, I just see trees <laughs> falling too. I see trees falling. Okay, well, can you stop ever the play? Fucking don't I just fucking lead the way, please? <laughs> my god, there's a fucking dragon about to eat my ass and you guys are fucking playing mierda. Uh, I think you're just crazy, Hector. I I don't know where to go, bro. I've got footage. Yeah, well, I got footage too. Oh. Why? No! <laughs> And now it's time to face off against Dragon Lord Plastidusax. You let me know when, brother. Uh, hold up. All right, going. With how big of an entity Dragon Lord is, we blast his health down pretty easy. New tongues first of all. He got melted. But once the lasers come in, it's pretty much a guarantee that one of us is going to die. Oh shit. Live, guys, live. Oh shit. Oh my, it always gets me. And after one last meteorite spell, the boss goes down. With the fight taking about 3 minutes and 11 seconds. We're dead. Oh. Oh. And we had to retry one time. He was so framey for me. Oh, I'm dead. With Dragon Lord down, I drag my friends back to Altus Plateau to buy a bunch of boiled crabs. What the fuck are you gonna go do? I'm gonna go buy some crabs. Are you fucking George? <laughs> what, dude? The guy's hungry. With how many fucking 
times you've gone through Elden Ring and how many runs you've done, I'm surprised that you cannot lead us better. What a disappointment, George. <laughs> and I would not let my life be taken. Oh, fuck. Everyone's angry. And after their negative reaction, I started an all-out brawl between friends and a bear. You're not getting away. <laughs> George! <laughs> I'll shoot the bear! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's humping me? No, dude, He's giving me a bear hug. Bro, he was totally putting me where his dick is. Oh my god. Dessert. Dessert. With that out of our system, we now go off and face Melania. And that does not go well this time around. Oh, she delayed that. So we go and get the Primal Glintstone Blade Talisman and that Godfrey's Icon Talisman. Okay, I didn't even have to do anything. But that did not stop the suffering my Fuck. friends and I experienced. Okay. Second to heal. Fuck. No, please get out. Get out. Stop the spell. <laughs> I'm so fucking done with this game. Oh. Why me, dude? Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh, that's good. I'm done. Ooh, I fucked that up hard. <gasps> I just used she up my last one. She grabbed me. Oh, that was so fucking fast. And with that loss, we finish our session for that day. Right. See, I had a feeling that time wouldn't be it. It's just fate that we beat her tomorrow, George. <laughs> when we come back with fresh minds and full of energy. With the next day here, we attempt her again. With the amount of experience I have fighting Melania, I elected to be the major distraction against the boss. So I attempted to keep the boss aggression for most of the fight. The waterfowl, there we go. For the second phase, we don't even try to use the meteorites at all and focus on continuing to use Rock Swing. Get her, get her, get her. Oh shit! Wow. Keeping aggro for most of the fight is pretty damn stressful. Now, I'm, I'm using it while I'm very far away, so at the very least, if it pulls her, she's not gonna get too close. But, like, all my rocks are missing, dude. Oh, that could have been real bad. Not anymore! I almost fucked that up. She's going after Pedersen. She's going after me! And now back to George, question mark? Oh no, she's doing waterfowl. But eventually we take her down with the fight taking about 4 minutes and 46 seconds. And it took about 12 tries until we actually beat her. First try, what'd I say? Oh, I'm right. <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone went near her. What the fuck did I say? <laughs> If we come back the next day with fresh minds, we're gonna beat her. With Melania down, we now level up. Especially when we now do triangle formation, right he has nowhere to back up to. Except that maybe into one of us. <laughs> Which starts off great. Aww, of course. What? What? I hate that attack so much. I just love this gimmick boss fight. Anyway, for the actual attempt, we kept our distance and threw a bunch of rocks at the snake. Oh, thank you, game. Aha! Fuck you! Honestly, there wasn't much strategies to these fights except for throwing rocks at the enemies with the power of gravity and our character's girth. Pretty much the only way I know to avoid that massive AoE attack is literally to jump into the lava where he is. Fall beneath my feet, peasant. Oh, what a prick. For the second phase, we try to stagger him as much as we can to prevent his Rancor attack. Oh, Ooh. what a swipe. And that pretty much went well, as we staggered him until his health was about one-fifth of the original amount. Be careful with the flying skull thing. After this attack he's going to. Oh, no he's not. Good shit. And, uh... The snake is active. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Now he's gonna do a massive AoE, careful. Unless you can uh, stagger him right now. Oh, good shit. Like that? You say stagger, I say say no more, George. Fuck this guy, dude. He's gonna do it now, though. And with Bob unfortunately being taken to Spooktown... Alright, careful with the skulls. I don't know who it's after. Oh no, finish it, guys! We eventually finish Rykard off, with the fight taking about 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Bitch! Were you hitting his tail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, this fight only took two attempts. Damn, Patterson. You became... You became a snake. He ate you. He became part of the family! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With Rykard done, we now go and bully a Draconic Tree Sentinel. And now it's time to fight Malekith. His first phase went pretty well. As Malekith doesn't have a lot of health for being a main story boss. The only thing destined is for this rock to go up your coochie. Also, splitting aggro between the three of us makes bosses pretty easy sometimes. But the boss health is kind of understandable because his second phase can pretty much just delete you like nothing. Oh. Bro, I can't hit him with shit. Oh my god. And even though Bob died on us... Oh, I'm spawning. I'm spawning. Live. He lived, but came back into his own fantasy world. Where are you, Pedersen? I'm here. Ow. <gasps> no way. No way. What? No way. There's a second one. <laughs> Pedersen's fighting his own battle. There's a second yeah. one. Yeah, dude, you're fighting your own battle right now. Yeah, I'm in a cutscene. <laughs> what? Can you skip it? No! 
Oh shit! Okay! It's all up to you, George. And with Patty getting styled on, that only leaves us with me left, and I eventually take him down. Please, I don't want to see this. With the fight taking about 4 minutes and 8 seconds. Dude, I'd say fucking... There you go. Great work, George. <laughs> Where did you come could, from? Couldn't, couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> Dude, I did not see you at all while I was fighting him. <laughs> he was hiding inside of Malika. I'm truly the one with destined. I'm truly the one with destined death. Not Malekith. Malekith puffed in black smoke and then out came Bob. <laughs> That's what happened. I am rejuvenated, George. I don't think you have a clue. <laughs> you guys touch the grace? Oh! What did I just walk into? What did you walk into? You guys were making sweet love. I just see Hector over there. George, he was sucking off fucking better so like it was no one's business. <laughs> I just see you floating, dude. Now I go and do a bit of farming by using the horrors of the cosmos to farm for beast liver. And get the missionary cookbook number six. And farm a bit of golden roa and sunflowers. Just so I can make holy proof liver for later. Now onwards we go and bully Gideon for getting in our way. Oh, that's a mini one. Fight against Godfrey. He doesn't attack at the beginning. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Instead of right after the cutscene, he says it. <laughs> Oh, and you still couldn't dodge it. That's living <laughs> proof. Because I dodged into it. You know what? I wanted to die anyway. I'm not up. Oh. Oh my god. Die fighting against Godfrey. No! One hit him. Oh, it insta killed me. Anyway, for the first phase, I try to keep Godfrey from stomping around the arena, as he loves to spam his mega stomps. Oh god, dude. I can't drink a singular fucking potion in peace. God damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to prevent him from doing it. For the second phase, he pretty much ignored me and went after my friends. Oh, this is gonna hit me. Oh, I did it. Killing them one by one. George! No, 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 sir. I'm not the one who pissed you off. Make sure you recover health. Yeah? I'll recover health and hell. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm not. Bro, person, you might, you're gonna die anyway. You might as well give it your all. <gasps> Dude, that tickled your butthole right there. <laughs> Not before watching you die. Oh shit! <laughs> That's a bull. Oh. Fucking oh. asshole. With just me and him remaining, mm -hmm. I eventually take him down. He's dead. The fight against Godfrey took about seven minutes and eleven seconds, and we had to retry one time. Now we level up for the last time. Make the holy proof dried liver for bonus holy defense. 
And with one final look at my build, we go and fight the final boss. Now let the purple rock spam begin. Fortunately, he kept most of his attention on me. Great, the first cast was beautiful. And because of this, Radagon went down pretty easily. Ow! Oh, what are you fucking 180'd straight to you? What the fuck was that? He mad, he mad! He dodged my last rocks. He dodged both of our last rocks. And now it's time for the Elden Beast. At the start against the Elden Beast, we tried to meteorite it to death at the beginning, but we didn't do much damage. Also, Fatty Patty ends up dying. Ah! Uh, oh? Well, that could have gone better. Wait, boys, it's not over yet. I'm on my way back. Oh my god, I'm watching the cutscene! I'm on Radagon's land. I don't see him, though. Now I'm kind of just stuck up here. Once the Elden Star comes out, no! it is time to run. I don't want it! Well, it's coming to you, Patterson. Run! Most of this fight was just a whole lot of weight to pick up that Fatty Patty left. No! Big rings for who? Why for me? Again? A what? Again? No! I was not prepared! Oh. <laughs> me too? <laughs> What the fuck? Only a fucking tarnish can be the guy with some rocks. Ooh, that was a long reach one. I saw that through the side. And after a failed grab by the Elden Beast, the boss goes down. <gasps> Ooh, okay, Patterson. <laughs> With the fight taking about 8 minutes and 25 seconds. And that's all, folks. Fatty Patty takes the crown by doing nothing in the part that mattered the most, and we have beaten Elden Ring using gravity spells. This one, as usual, was a pretty fun run with the amount of rocks being sent everywhere. We didn't really struggle much against most of the game, except for Radon because of a mod issue of being unable to lock onto him at times, and Melania because, well, she's Melania. What do you expect? She's one of the most difficult bosses in the game. My friends don't have a lot of experience fighting her alone, except with the Black Knife Tish summon. Anyway, it was a great run and I recommend you to do it if you're up for it. As always, this video took a bit of a while to edit, and I hope it was entertaining for you guys. My friends and I had a blast recording this run, but after this run, it might be a bit before the next co-op run, as I'm going back to my singular runs for a while. 
and I might start doing other stuff for the channel. I am also going to start live streaming soon on YouTube, so keep an eye out for that if you enjoy my content. Well, this has been One Night Gamer 4, and make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell notifications for alerts when I post a new video. And thanks for watching this video and my previous videos if you have as well. Later.